Charlie Gasparino, let's say, has his doubts, right? Uh, yes, and I'll tell you why. Um, I met with a senior Chinese diplomat the other day. It was at a private dinner um, at a at a very influential. I can't I, I can't use names just because. Can of, you name the place it was at? It was in New York City. Olive, Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. It was at a decidedly bigger townhouse than the one wow. that that, uh, that houses Olive Garden. And um, major New York businessman, you would know him if I, I said his name. It was about 20 or 30 people, a lot of people in private equity, do business in China, and they had a major Chinese diplomat there. Uh, I asked the first question. I was deemed to ask the first question because I'm, I was a lone reporter there, and obviously I asked about trade. You know, are you going to do a deal? Uh, and then I mentioned in his preamble, the diplomat made this point. Since 1980, China has taken 800 million plus people out of poverty. It's not the poverty that we have here, which is, you know, it's sometimes entrenched. It's much dire, much more extreme right, poverty. Right. They have 20 million people left in this extreme poverty, okay? Everything they do is directed, President Xi, every, every, everything they do is directed to get those 20 million people out of poverty, and there can be no compromise in getting those people out of poverty. This is what he said. So I said, no compromise. You won't take a deal that sort of makes, you know, that kicks the ball a little bit, that compromises a little bit with us, short-term, maybe pain where you divert it a little bit from getting, you know, be, being so focused on the 20 million people for a long-term gain of having a relationship with the U.S. long-term. He says nothing will stop us from compromise. From, from no, there will be no compromise in getting those 20 million people. I took that as like, you know, they don't care. You know, IP theft is their means to an end, getting 20 million people out of poverty. All the stuff they do, the unfair trade relationships. Getting Which is why the talk was that they wanted to separate that sort of stuff. It's right. been disputed. Right. But what do you think? They are not going to divert their attention away from what their main goal, which is to get 20, according to them, 20 million people out of poverty. Then I said, well, you know, isn't this hurting you, the tariffs? And he said, let me tell you something. And he gave me a little history lesson about the opium wars about how Western colonialists have tried to exert pressure on China to change, change their trade policy and how Britain and France during the Opium Wars, that's what it was all about. Right. China at that point was a very strong economy in the early 1800s. I didn't know that. Very big exporter. Uh, they changed the dynamic and, and it destroyed Chinese, the China's economy. They're never going back to that again. And they, they have long will, memories. And they will yeah. never lose face. That's what he told me. We cannot be losing face in, the, in, in particular when it comes to Western aggression on trade. There is very little that they're going to compromise if you start attacking them in, on Twitter. So you're Just doing so you know. things like saying, oh, reportedly, we're going to buy more agricultural goods, or the administration says you're going to open up more markets. You, you say you're going to? Gonna? They're going to say, no, we're not going to. Okay. I think the best way, listen, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just a simple country reporter. I kind of tell you what. You've never what lived in the country. Yes, that's right. That's right. Another, what country you're supposed to say. Yeah. Um, I will say this. Threats aren't going to work with them. They're not going to compromise. Well, more. that's all we've had. The only thing I think we could do is identify where they step over the line, which they clearly do, and IP Absolutely. theft and other things. Mm -hmm. And I think, the, 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 you know, threatening them is not going to work. Creating some sort of global alliance, which puts pressure on them, sort of in a softer right. way was probably the only way to go and president trump didn't do that right. so i don't hold up much hope that anything is going to change on these well these you're calls. a hater you're right. and but yeah. thank you for that lesson in the history of the, the opium wars and right. that was a ratings juggernaut well i just us, so um, thank you you know you were around back then yes i was <laughs> <laughs> way before right. jackie was born <laughs> absolutely all right thank you very very much buddy he goes to the fanciest places hangs out with the fanciest folks you know it is what it is all right we have a lot more coming up, including the administration's crackdown on all these vaping products.